remove K files from packaging and place files in a file holder. Here we are using an endo ring and a disposable sponge. First, we will do apical preparation of the canal using size 10 to 40 K files. Then we will clean and shape the remaining portion of the canal using the step back technique by using larger size K files, 45 to 80. As you can see, each file has a designated color and number indicated on the head of each file. Working length is a distance between the reference point coronally and the point at which canal preparation and obturation should terminate. In this preclinical exercise, the working length can be determined quite easily since it is not attached to the typodon. Using a size 10 K file, slowly explore the canal with a twisting motion, quarter turn in and pull, quarter turn in and pull, until it reaches the apex. Twist the file until it extends just past the apex and then twist the file back out until it is completely within the root. Adjust the rubber stopper to the incisal edge of the tooth and measure this length using a ruler. This is the working length. It should be approximately 25 millimeters for this plastic tooth. In a real clinical situation, you can determine the working length in two ways, either by placing a file into the tooth and taking an x-ray or by using an electronic apex locator. Using the working length determined in the previous step, clean and shape using the quarter turn in and pull motion with the size 10 K file until the file is no longer binding and has minimal resistance in the canal. Look at the rubber stopper in the file. The rubber stopper should align with the incisal edge and not go apical to it, which would result in over instrumentation past the apex. Irrigate the canal using water. Then, adjust the rubber stopper on the size 15 K file to your working length. Clean and shape the canal using quarter turn in and pull motion until the file has minimal resistance in the canal and reaches the working length as indicated by the rubber stopper on the file. Irrigate the canal once again and then repeat the process using the next larger size file, size 20. Irrigate the canal and then recapitulate using the size 10 K file. The size 10 K file should go to working length. This is done intermittently along with irrigation in order to remove bits of debris packed at the apex, ensuring total canal debridement. Repeat the process using increasing file sizes, 25, 30, 35, and 40. On this tooth, we are cleaning and shaping to a master apical file size of 40.
In the previous step, we completed apical preparation to a size 40 K file. In this step, we will use size 45 to 80 K files. During the step back technique, the working lengths will decrease in a stepwise manner with increasing instrument size. For example, if you completed apical preparation at a working length of 25 millimeters with a size 40, for step back, you will use a working length of 25 minus one millimeters or 24 millimeters for the size 45 file. Step back technique will shape the remaining portion of the canal to allow for better irrigation and ease of obturation of the canal. If for example your size 40 file does not reach working length while cleaning and shaping, go back down to a size 35 file. Clean and shape with this file until it feels looser within the canal. Irrigate and recapitulate. Try the size 40 again, it should go to working length. 